Okay, so I just wanted to do a short reflection on hmm, this awakening and evolution that's happening and how it really requires us to use our intuition. And yeah, this is something that Nayabi has mentioned in the previous podcast on the other side of psychoactive plant medicines, where she said, you know, that the, the most important thing is to heighten that connection that you have with your intuition and really learn how to use it. And this video, I just wanted to share about that because I feel like, you know, what we're doing is unlocking the potential of our organic nature. And that is mind, body and soul. It's not just the one, it's this recognition of who we are and coming into this remembrance. And so when we can understand that we are not actually our bodies and because of the way that we have been taught, we have been taught that we are literally only our bodies, which isn't the truth. And it has resulted in all these other misinterpretations of reality and the world and how we interpret it as well. Because obviously we've been going around thinking, oh yeah, everything's physical, but there's so much more to it than that. And everything is unlocked through our body because this is what the tool that we are utilizing here in these dimensions you know this is what we're experiencing life through so one thing that i think is so important because i feel like as we heighten and go through this ascension and through this awakening we learn to let go of all the false conceptions of reality that we have been taught and the conditioning that has been told to us and the indoctrination, ultimately that's what it is. And so what happens through this process is that we start to tune into the subtlety of our senses. So we start to really trust and rely on what our body is telling us, you know? And it's not just our body, it's a body, mind, soul, right? It's all, it's the whole thing. And so what I see happening in the world with 2020s, this whole global drama that's been playing out, um, so many people want to rely on the data. And using this thing data as such an imperative part of understanding our reality and understanding truth. And this is something that we have been taught. Again, it's related in this physical thing that we're just physical and everything here is so dense, you know? And when you have that understanding, it's very easy to think that, oh yeah, okay, we need the data, this is how we interpret life. And for a lot of people, it's actually going to be very difficult, very triggering to to understand this, this really important aspect that actually, it's not all about the data, like it just isn't. And this is the internal journey that we go through, that we learn experientially, because the most profound way that we can learn is through our own direct experience. So, and again, it brings in this concept of truth and how do we truly align ourselves with what is real? Because, you know, obviously everyone's got their own subjective truth of the matter because all the data says everything and you can literally find a study to back up your opinion, right? So we're all living in these different kind of ideas of truth. But then at the end of the day, there is also the truth, you know, what's actually happening. And it's like, in a way, science is is quite behind with what a lot of spiritual concepts have already been talking about and is still yet to discover a lot of what spirituality is talking about. And I think for a lot of people, they, they can be reluctant to you know, go forward and trust and trust their intuition and trust their gut because they're waiting for that data. And obviously it's fine. It's your journey, your process to do whatever you want. But through the awakening, it's so important that we heighten our 
intuition and we trust our gut because the information is not going to appear through data it's going to appear practically through us from what we can see what we can feel and what we are experiencing and so for some people that's going to be quite hard to comprehend and like I said it might trigger them and you know already people will probably say well you know that sounds egotistical and that sounds like so whatever it's excuses people come up with it's quite well, but ultimately, I am sharing this from my own personal experience because of the journey that I've been walking, and this is what I understand. So, if you don't resonate with it, it's completely fine. Take take what resonates and leave the rest. And all I can say is that you know this space that I'm creating here with Pathé is really just for people who are interested and wanting to know and learn more and are curious enough to open their minds and open their hearts and listen. Because I feel like what happens is, because of this whole concept of needing the data, 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 we don't end up listening. We don't end up acknowledging what other people are saying. It's another way of just like shutting down the conversation. So, you know, what's been happening is oh, yeah, but this study isn't reliable. Well, ha- have you seen this is a poor study, you know, for example? Or, you know, yeah, this data is from, like, a... It's not a reliable source, basically. And who determines reliable? Well, exactly, that's another thing that's into question. But it's not even that. It goes deeper than that because, obviously, what happens is there's so ma- much manipulation going on when it comes to the publishing of data that we have literally have no idea, you know, and there's so much vast amount of uh, people speaking out on this that you can find for yourself, but there are so many, there are so many ways that they fudge up the data, so many ways, I think we've all seen that, like people plucking numbers from thin air and saying that it came from a computer and, you know, all this stuff, but this is why it's so important to use your intuition because the data is unreliable and so many people think we need data we need the data otherwise it's not real but the data is just something we have created in order to measure something you know the data isn't this thing that is literally telling us the truth and like i've said already most specifically because the data has been so fudged up, (laughs) it's been manipulated, so much of it has been manipulated that it's literally become unreliable. If it was coming from a source, like, you talk about reliable sources, if it was coming from a source where, you know, people were kind and good-hearted and they were, you know, it just doesn't come from that place. And also, you won't know if it's come from that place or not unless you really go into the nickety-pickety and start to see what's been happening in within it, you know. So... And there have been people who have done that already, so you can see it for yourself. But, so there is that part of it, but at the same time, you know, like Nicole said in the New Monks podcast, she's a doctor who started her own process of recognising what's happening at the moment. And like she said, you know, um, she said, your gut feelings is a data point. That is a data point. And people are so consumed with this concept of data, I need evidence, I need evidence, I need evidence. Holding so tightly onto this reality that has been constructed for us, you know, and by us, because we go along with it. (laughs) And I just think that's a super powerful thing to say and acknowledge. You know, your gut feelings are a data point. And what I see happening is that because people are running around chasing their tails saying, I need the data, show me the study, show me the study, show me the evidence, you know, it. I feel like it's really done a disservice to us because, because then we're just relying on this thing that's been completely manipulated and we will never get the truth if we're just relying on that. We just won't get to the truth because we don't know who's done it and we do not know what their intentions are and, you know, we don't even know they don't you know they're they're doing a study but who knows what the other variables are and there's so many things to it 
And I, honestly, I think that's such a simplistic way of looking at things, you know, such a simplistic way. It's, it's, it reduces reality into this one group of people that were doing this one study. Now, the other thing is, like I said, it's been manipulated so much and there's so many lies at the moment and it's so it becomes difficult to sift through all of it. And again, this is why your intuition is so important and your body is so intelligent. And the, the awakening and expansion that we're going through physically is coming into this knowing. And nobody can do that for you but yourself. Only you can do that. And coming into this knowing of how intelligent we are as human beings. And when we come into that knowing and go through the process through ourselves individually, it's almost laughable that, we, you know, one or we would have required to know the, <laughs> the data. We would have had to have the study because we begin to accentuate, we begin to unlock who we really are. So... You know, everything that's happening at the moment is spiritual. It's the spiritual awakening. So we start to realise how powerful we are and then it, all of a sudden it just becomes a case of what... It's just this inner knowing and this inner gnosis. And again, people are going to probably get triggered by this and think, oh, that's just spiritual nonsense, heebie-jeebie, you know, or that's just... um egotistical is and I'm not saying it just from me in my personal journey I'm saying this is the experience and journey that's open to all of us you know it's not just for one person this is our remembrance and when we can come back into this and this empowerment you know because ultimately the truth <laughs> you know it will not be known it just will not be known through data you know, maybe you will find some data to support what you believe, fine. But bet to sure is, you know, that you'll be able to find the exact opposite thing in data as well. So it's just really not a good way to measure reality and to measure what is real and to measure what is true. And specifically, like I said to be before, specifically because we don't know who's doing it, what their intentions are, and what the variables are and how they fudged up the data because there's been so much fudging up and um, many people have come to that reason I've, many people have been talking about this about, and there's an amazing video about a Canadian company that really depicted how much the Pfizer data was messed up so you know we can all come into seeing seeing this ourselves but for me what I really want to bring into the picture of it because there's all this drama that happens and ultimately it's coming back into the spirituality of what's happening and what's taking place here some people are going to still rely on the data and it, the people who are relying on the data are there in that place and that 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 um level of awareness of ego attachment to the ego you know and people get really triggered with like Say, thinking that if someone has a bit more knowledge about spirituality, for example, then the people can really trigger and think that, you know, one is talking down on them, and that's just really not the case. You know, that's really, really, really not the case. And a lot of defensiveness as well can... It um, stops, again, it, it pu pushes the full stop button right there, and it just uh, shuts down the conversation. So... And it's really not about coming from a higher place, you know. This I heard this statement the other day and it was like, what's happening is we're unlocking consciousness and we're unlocking levels of awareness. So there are so many different levels of awareness that are playing out at the same time. Some people know more than others. Other people know more than them, you know. And someone might know more than other and the other one might not, you know. It's just, it's this whole thing, right? And so basically what happens is that um, it's okay to acknowledge that someone might know more than you. That's actually okay. And it's okay to acknowledge that you might be wrong. And it's okay to share your opinions and to know, you know, that what you're saying is what you believe and, you know, whatever side of the spectrum you may be on. 
But like, the other thing is, you know, are you really able to listen? Because that's a really, really important thing here. And again, it's another one of the senses, listening deeply. <laughs> but the statement that I heard the other day, yeah, it was like, just because you're in sixth grade, it doesn't mean you're better than someone who's in the third grade. It doesn't work like that. It's just simply a higher state of consciousness and a higher state of awareness. And that's it. There's no, it's, it's always other people that put this judgment on it. That's saying, oh, you're speaking to me like a better. No, that's not the case. It's, you know, and it's not anything to do with age. Just because someone's older than them, it doesn't mean they know more when it comes to this awakening and the spirituality remembrance. You know, it's not anything to do with age. So ultimately, if we can all just listen to each other a bit more, and um, yeah, it's deeply spiritual what's happening. If you can listen to people who've been embarking on a spiritual journey, you might be able to learn something about what's happening at the moment because it's it, there's a lot of confusion and it's purposefully designed that way to confuse a lot of people but ultimately this whole thing about data you know it's really really misaligned and it will not help us if we're truly in in search for what is real you know because and then again it's it's operating from that low level of ego where Show me the data. This is not evidence. I need evidence. <laughs> it's again, it's grasping onto this, you know, this piece of paper, this thing, the, this ego, this this, this um, question that's coming from the ego. That's like, I need to, I need to prove that something exists before I can trust myself. Basically, this is what I hear from that. And the reason why I say that is because so many people have not trusted their gut instincts and have not trusted their intuition throughout this whole thing. And, you know, that's really sad. I think that's really sad, but it's also just the way that it is. And it's just the way that the level of awareness is on our planet at the moment. But... Guarantee, I know so many people myself, you know, <laughs> but so many people knew deep inside that it just didn't feel like the right thing to do to get this injection, right? So many people, or something was off, you know, but it, and it might have been the most small, mildest thing, like, you know, obviously some people were just totally sold with it and just did it, but there were many people who felt like it just didn't feel right, you know yet they still went ahead because of this external authority and these external data entry points and these external studies and these external, although there weren't that many studies around at that time but yeah it, it was still the same thing it's like relying on this external authority whether it's a person a paper whatever relying on it and you're placing your power and your discerning ability and your decision-making skills, which are highly intelligent and have been designed particularly this way with the preciseness within your senses, within your intuition. You know, so it's coming back into the remembrance of who we are and that we are so, we were wired this way. We were wired to be able to spot what is good for us and to spot what isn't, but we have been conditioned not to listen to it. And, you know, this is a huge dilemma. Like, this is a problem, yo. But obviously, again, always bring it back to the <laughs> neutral point that this is just where we are. This is just where we currently are in our state of awareness. And, and it's fine, you know. But at the same time, like, this is why things happen the way they are ha happening. Obviously, when you become aware then you can know how to make better choices. So the point is exactly that we have been conditioned not to, to listen. So this is what's happening at the moment. And uh, it's fascinating, <laughs> literally. So when things happen, and obviously everything's been fudged up to confuse people, yeah, in a way that it's so difficult, especially if you're looking for data, it's very difficult to get to the bottom of it. 
But if you literally just trust your intuition and your gut and you just observe what's happening around you physically in your friendship group, your family, your friendship, friendships group, you know, and you hear the stories of what is happening at the moment because we're not going to get to the answers through data. And especially because if you've been down the rabbit hole and you know what is happening, this information is just highly preventive, prevented to be released. It's, it's being highly prevented, you know? And so, um, yeah, you, it's basically when you trust your intuition, everything becomes obvious. It becomes so freaking obvious. Then you just take away that thing that's saying that you need to prove your yourself. You need to prove your gut instincts with something else. You know, and people will say, that's so dangerous. How can you say that? Oh my word. Like, don't trust yourself. But that's the whole point. We're at the point where they've got us to not trust ourselves. And then to start spitting these bars like, Spitting these bars is, and going against people who were trying to say that actually this is the way forward. So like, you know, it's got to that freaking level of reversibility. It's just so backwards. So, yeah, this, and the thing is, again, like, you know, the intuition, because the truth, when you know the truth deeply, again, it's, it's this con tied in with this thing about our bodies and we just have bodies and we need the data and we need the facts and we need all these things. It's very ego born. Okay, okay. And so basically, when you come from that place, um, yeah, it's very easy to see how you would think, oh, that's ridiculous, not needing it, right? But the point is, the truth, truly, when you know the truth deep down, you will feel it. You will feel it deeply at the core of your being and this is why I always say it's not something that you can just teach someone it's not something you can show someone it's not something that you can just put evidence in front of someone's face and they will just say oh yeah I get it it doesn't work like that it is literally something that is experienced it's not just this con idea again it's this thing physical matter reality it's not just physical matter. And actually, as so many people have said, this is just a construct, it's a hologram, you know? And the way that I explain that is that every single thing is energy and every single physical aspect is vibrating at a certain frequency, but we don't see that. All we see are, the, see are the physical objects, but that's not the truth of what is actually there, you know? <laughs> and so when we go through this, process and so again it's just understanding that actually we are not limited here right now we're going through this journey of being able to see more of being able to do to see to to feel everything of unlocking our abilities and that's just something i know deeply to be part of the spiritual awakening and um yeah coming back into who we are and we've forgotten we've forgotten that's what's happened and we've been conditioned. And it's quite an amazing journey, actually, because how freaking fascinating to know that a lot of the sci-fi films and everything that you see is real, you know? <laughs> that magic is real and that we are unlocking these abilities now. But anyway, I was just going to say about the truth, yeah. So the truth is a frequency. And when you're in line, and when you it's and it's up to you whether you align yourself with it or not, because you know, like I said, so you can present it to someone, and they doesn't mean they're going to see it. it. Doesn't mean they're going to acknowledge it. They, can, they have so many programs running in their mind, and so many defense mechanisms, and you know, grappling to hold onto reality as they know it, that they might not even see what is right in front of their faces, and they're so disconnected with their intuition and their gut. And they do not trust. So, you know, it's difficult for them, right? And the defensiveness especially will stop anyone from absorbing, being able to absorb what is right in front of their eyes, you know? <laughs> so 
this is why I say, yeah, the truth is a feeling, the truth is a frequency. If when, as we move through life, as we move through this awakening, as we move through this crazy period of time, it's so important and it is rule number one. And I speak on this in my Awakening 101 online audio guide. Heighten that connection with yourself. Connect and tune into the source. And this is again another part of the process. The source is real. Our conceptions of God have been so distorted. What we have been told in the Bible, a lot of it is a lie. Not all of it. Not all of it. Not just in the Bible, in all of the religions. It's a lie. Not all of it. Some of it. But mostly... The concept of God, if anything is teaching you that you need to come this way in order to experience your own direct connection with source, it's a lie. This is rule number one. This is how you know. Do not trust anyone that is telling you and telling you to come, keep coming back to them that this is called energy harvesting. You know, it becomes very simple to start recognizing these things when you connect, when you go back, when you trust. The source, when you feel a connection, is something that is inexplainable. But it's very real and it's happening. And we are all having the opportunity right now and the choice to decide whether we want to walk this remembrance and whether we want to, you know, connect back in and remember what's happening and who we are, what's really going on here. So the so this source, you know, this is another part of truth. And again, it's the thing, it doesn't, in the current paradigm, it doesn't align with this, the data and the science and all of this stuff. The God doesn't come into that, you know. God, what are you talking about, God? <laughs> you know, what are you talking about? Like, that doesn't work. But actually, science and source are the same freaking thing, but in a different way to what we have been told. You know, there's no difference. It's the same thing. It's energy. You know, it's the matter. It's the reason why we're here. It's philosophy. It's it's life. You know? So when you bring your connection to source into it, again, that is this deep inner knowing. It's a deep intuition. And when you have that, the only thing that you ha you can do is trust it because it's so powerful. That's all you just surrender and trust. And it's not, oh, trust me, trust my ego, trust. No, it's trust in something much bigger than my ego, such a, something much bigger than me. It's trust in something else. And then people will say all sorts of things as well. I can just hear it now. Like, <laughs> oh, sounds like you're trusting some demonic nonsense. <laughs> But honestly, that's again why the intuition is so important because it's very, very easy to tell the difference between the light and the dark. And there's so much darkness happening at the moment. But it becomes very easy to tell the difference. So when you have the source and this connection, the truth becomes a whole different paradigm. Now all you need to do is surrender and follow it. And like I said to you, it's, it's, you're following something that's inside of you that's part of you and is also outside of you and much bigger than just you it is us it's all of us and it's on a whole different level of intelligence you know <laughs> that is cannot be comprehended so when you bring this into it as well you know it's it, all of a sudden the truth becomes a whole different paradigm whole different level of experience a whole different thing you know now what and I say this because when you have it you will know and it's an experiential thing so then when when you want to bring in data and studies and these kinds of facts it's, it just doesn't really make sense you know <laughs> it just doesn't make sense trust your gut Trust your instinct. Trust your inner knowing. If you're seeing something happen physically in the world, if you're noticing that all of a sudden there's a lot more sudden deaths taking place and heart attacks, 
in younger people than there ever have been. You know, the data is not going to show it. The, the data is not going to come out and to say that this is what's happening. All that's happening is your denial of the fact that it is happening because you cannot trust your own eyesight and your own inner gnosis and your own inner knowing. And this is not condescending on anyone. This is empowering. If only you take it that way to empower you to tune in deeper wherever you are on your awakening and on your journey to trust yourself even more because the traps are laid for us everywhere and deeply in the spiritual community as well. You know, I'm here to speak on all of it. I don't subscribe to any doctrine or philosophy. I've di dived into lots of different paths and I just take what resonates and I leave the rest, but I'm a renegade. You know, I'm, I'm here to speak out on about you know, the things that I have let go of that are not helpful and progressing me on my individual path that a lot of people are still completely absorbed in, you know. You know, I'm here to speak up on true health and true healing. And there are so many traps everywhere in all of the... in all of this dimension. <laughs> There's so many traps everywhere, you know. But I am not boxing myself into any one thing that's not how I roll and that's not how I work you know and and you know when that happens you know and when you it's just it's just understanding the levels of deceit that that are here which are going to require this profound inner journey and connection to source and intuition that's that's the answer that is the answer, <laughs> and I'm not, and I'm not saying like this is, this is what you have to believe. Da, 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 da. Take it as you will, and because at the end of the day, your instinct and your intuition is can only be deciphered by you. You know, I'm not saying trust what I'm saying here, and you know, this is the truth. No, this is my understanding of how truth works and what truth is you know that it's something that we will feel and that we'll tune into and that's from my own experience you know but it's, but it's not a case of me giving saying something specific as if you know this is this is it this is the way that I understand it you know but when you trust your intuition yourself that you know you just can't go wrong it's just, you know, and I just wanted to say as well, I think we've all been in those situations where, you know, you've walked into a room or, I don't know, we were travelling at some point, at some time, and someone else came into the room or <laughs> something just didn't feel right. Something felt off. And I think that phrase summarises everything about this planet and about the past few years. Something feels off. Something doesn't feel right. It doesn't make sense. Even the data doesn't make sense. It, it, things lack con. The data lacks the context. It doesn't. You know, something doesn't feel right. And then something inside you said, "Get out of here now." You know, we all know what that feels like. Like it might not have even been "get out of here." It might have been like, "You need to do this now." And then later we find out why and what would have happened. And you know, it, that is that gut instinct is that intuition you know so you know for me personally it's become very obvious that this is a requirement for the awakening and where we are going and again it's up to you you know if you're not interested in this journey it's fine but very much likely if you're listening to this video it's because you are and you're already on it so <laughs> that's just the way it works so basically yeah and and again, you know, the answers and the truth is going to look different, like I said before, for different people, you know, it's going to look different. And it looks different at different stages of the journey as well. But, you know, for example, you might be trusting your intuition and you know you're trusting your intuition, but only you know that. And you go down this avenue and then basically it leads you into a bit of a trap, right? There were other people that decided well, that doesn't make sense, I'm going to avoid it. 
and merrily did they go on with their journey. <laughs> However, you've somehow fell into the trap. So then it becomes a case of like, you know, it's not, it's okay as long as you're following your intuition basically, because when you're there, then you still have the opportunity and the choice to decide what to do. As long as you bring in the information and awareness, you know, beyond your ego, then you still have choice. So, and sometimes our paths lead us into these traps, into these dead ends, so that we can, so that we know what they are. You know what I mean? That's one of the biggest ones. So that next time we don't fall for it, so that next time we know better, so that next time we can see it a mile away before it even happens, and so that we become way more powerful and stronger. That's just how it works. So, you know, even as I'm saying here, to get to the truth and, you know, the truth, your journey is going to take you on a very unique path and it's not going to be the same as everyone else's. So this is why I'm speaking on this intuition and why it's so important for you to trust that yourself because it's not going to look the same for everyone. And it happens like that. We all fall into these traps. It just happens, you know. And it's just so that we can get smarter, get our discernment higher, higher, and really start to bring some clarity in to what's taking place. So again, you know, I really like the concept of the truth looks different depending on your perspective. That, you know, but when it comes down to some things, 100%, there's definitely something that is real and then a lot of things that aren't. And so it's like, moving through the sludge of all of that, figuring out what is real and what isn't. And um, and sometimes, you know, even if we've fallen into the... Our intuition has led us down to a straight path. And, and then um, for a long time, we're going to think that's real. This is, the, this is our reality. This is what we know until we, you know, recognise and, oh, hang on, no, that... Yeah. And even other people who, like I said before saw that and went on their own, who knows what happened to them. They might, they've got some of the picture, but they don't have the whole picture, you know. This is just where we are right now. There's so many levels and so many layers and and um, we are all going through this process. It's not just a case of higher and better then. It just doesn't work like that. I just feel like so many people speak to each other like that or some people interpret it like that when it's just not like that <laughs> so yeah that's what I wanted to share really um, just intuition source connection allow yourself to be guided to what you need and to truth allow yourself you know allow yourself to turn on these abilities that we all have residing within that we've been taught not to trust because they will teach you and they will allow things to appear in your physical life that will help you to understand and to digest what's happening in the world at the moment. And um, and just trust. Trust yourself. That's it. Your intuition. And, yeah. and it might take you on a whole different path that's like totally not in resonance to <laughs> what a lot of... Um, other people are saying experience or even what I'm saying and I'm experiencing, but that's fine, you know. Ultimately, I think it's all about us coming in, creating the experience that we want to have. And, and then that's a whole other acknowledgement because a lot of us are just victims to our circumstances of our lives and not actually manage to accentuate and individuate above to this level where we realise actually we're creating this. So, yeah, and and uh, as I always say as well, you know, as long as it's it's taking you towards unity and towards this oneness and towards love, because that, as we all know, is the only truth. <laughs> and you know, and so then in those moments, you've got to check yourself. How are you speaking to people? Are you coming from that space? How are you talking to other people? How are the things that are happening in the world at the moment, reflecting that, are they or aren't they? Because that's a very easy way to decipher where, where the traps are and where they're not, you know? And it comes in really, really intricate ways, but like, you know, oh, well, we're just going to sacrifice a load of people <laughs> for, 
for for the for the greater good is that coming from a place of love and what you know you know ask yourself the questions it's, it's very, it, i think it becomes so much easier when you start trusting that and you know really leaning on yourself a lot more but anyway you know this is just a snippet of a video i've created this whole online course to support you through your journey and this course isn't about me telling you this is the way and this is what you have to do and and you know this is my model of reality and it's not about that and it's not what I believe in in any way whatsoever. The point is you are the ninja and you are the warrior and it's on you to decide what you want to experience in your life, who you want to be and how you want to navigate this awakening. And the online course are just a bunch of tools that will help you be fully equipped in this process. And that's it really <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for listening and uh yeah heighten heighten all of your senses your discernment your third eye that's another thing you know this magic is real we are the magic it's real you know what can you see through your third eye open your third eye like there's a whole world within there's a whole world within and it will not be known through the data. <laughs> but anyway, take what you want, take what resonates, leave the rest. If you believe that it will, you know, merrily on your journey. Thank you. All sessions from our online course, Awakening 101 are now available. Designed to be listened to in chronological order, head to our website to check it out.